Go. Bam, perfect. It go. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. In the land of the Ozarkian anarchist. Yes, I'm an yeah. anarchy. I live in the Ozarks. Mm. That's Arkansas. Yeah. Arkansas. In a perfect hey, world. Hey, and it is a perfect world, and I'm in it, baby, oh. right here. With my buddy. You know who. It's Flash somebody. Hey, Vincent. Tell them where you're at. I'm in Denmark still. And it is 7 p.m. in your part of the world. As the Yeah, right now. 7 p.m. Danish yes. time. Yep. 1 o'clock in New York City. Yep. Say New, say New York City. New York City. Yeah. What kind of accent? To what? What's that? New York. Say, that's how they say it in New York. New York. It's one and word. So, it's not two words. It's one word. New York. It's like, it's like New Orleans is New Orleans, baby. Ba- yeah, that's that. The, the locals usually butcher it. Hey, Grimner, thanks a lot again for letting us do this wacky uh, in a perfect world thing we do on <laughs> Tuesdays. Yeah. Well, and, hey, I'm a me, Vinny, PG. Yeah, Real guidance is suggested. Thank you. Ah, and he's bluffing. Perfect world. Nah, hey, this is bluffing. day three. Day oh. three, baby. Yeah, oh. I'm fighting. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I already knocked that out. Uh, quit bragging and say hi to the bots and the bodies that are supporting your lack of nicotine habit. Hi, bots and bodies. You ungrateful oh, host. <laughs> Bar man. He's so great. He's, he's the bestest bodice ever. And Beetle. Ops, please. Grimmer and Moose Girl and Kate. And here's how do you pronounce this? Ant I. What do you suppose the meaning of this name and handle will be? Ant I. Well, that's how you spell O'Reilly in, in French. Thank you. Asmo, Chalcedony, Graham Z, and Java Doctor 2, as well as our favorite Hansel. What do we call it? Hansel <laughs> J. Dredd, the Judge Dredd himself. <laughs> I am the law, citizen. <laughs> Have a ponder gander. That's me right here. Uh, along with Poopster and Prince below Poopster. me and Rob Works. He's down Rob there at the bottom cleaning Works. all this up. Yes, my fellow Arky are, are, are uh, yeah. anarchists. You guys are, yes. you guys are like neighbors. You could, yeah, you could have sex anarchy. with the same relative now. Wouldn't that be cool? I don't think that's You possible. could share a cousin or something. Wow. One of you is bound to have one around there somewhere. If you, you look got, hard Oh, I thought you meant you had a cousin around these parts. I was like, I probably well, do. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, there's Rome's. <laughs> he's, he's not, it's not like roaming about in Rome. <laughs> when in Rome, <laughs> Vanna White. Hello, Vanna. <laughs> this is our other bot. Had a name change. What was her name originally? I've forgotten now. Hmm. Uh, Grimner, do you what remember Vanna what the Vanna White bot was called before they changed no. the name, sir? That's why I'm no, asking. she doesn't remember either. I don't remember. Yeah. It went right by me. I'm like, oh, right. I don't know. Grim will know. Yeah. Let Grim yeah. he'll type it Grimner. on. There. He's smart. He's very yeah. smart. He's no Fredo. <laughs> <laughs> He's no Fredo. <laughs> there, this is me right here, and I'd like to uh, advise yeah. you once again. Due to the content of this broadcast, uh, you better ask your mama if it's okay. Yeah, weather dark. That guy right there, he's like, a, he comes along and says like, oh, Grimner posted that an hour ago. And I go like, duh, that's where I got it from. What a dork. I wonder if it's a dork. And what's, what's a weather dork doing posting stuff like that? Anyway, stick to the weather. Me. You can't even do weather, man. Ask Rob. It's confusing. I'm echoing me. real bad. I'm trying to confuse you. I hope this didn't come downstream. Can you hear me downstream three times? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, Woody. Mm. Would I? Would mm. I? Would mm. I? <gasps> yes. Uh, and and Woody is Woody. just Mr. Meister. two days Rob. away from getting his dog stash. <gasps> Yep, he told. Well, that's uh, what I read yesterday. Was he's waiting on Thursday to get his new dog. So there's there's a couple of birthdays this week. Is there? Who 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 who? We got a couple of people in here. I'm gonna leave the one person to reveal that themselves. 
<laughs> but we got Miss Moosey. That's right. Hey, Donna. Friday the 13th. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Yes, Friday the 13th. Ain't that cool? Yeah. Like, for, yeah. yeah. Way cool. Way cool. Hey, there's a phantom. And uh, does phantom ever talk? Do you hear phantom? The phantom? Uh, I don't know. Chascura. Ah. Chascura has become very quiet of late. It seems hmm. his shit has been called upon him. Uh-oh. Wow. Yeah. You're awful yakky tonight. Circle. Circle. circle Hello, wagon. honey. Fire. No. Hello, my baby. <laughs> Stubber noodle. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Cyborg. It ma- it make you slurp and slurp. Hey, make calm you down, Benny. You're, be what? You're going to spill all something. Over you. Donna. Down. Ah. Ben, me Donna. She does hear an echo. I think. Echo. Maybe that was me doing the fake echo. Could echo, have been. Echo, echo. Who knows? I'm so confused. Yes. Duh. <laughs> There's the Hold the. E man in sip slash some bouquet yeah. body. Ah. And Frumpy. Canada. Frumpy no, he's tonight. Canadian. Yes, he's, he's not really Canadian. He's no. faking it, man. The that dude's a United States state. Yes, that's right. Canada. We have to just call it like it is. Yep. Uh huh. Just Our, absorb uh, it like a. Our weird cousins from up north. Mm. <laughs> yeah, mm. they come down a lot in Florida. Mm. They blend right in. Oh, yeah, um, that's what they do. All right. That's why I think we ought to build the wall on the northern border first. <laughs> yeah. Keep frumpy out. You can tell a Mexican from a Canadian. I'm just saying, okay? You Most can. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because of the funny accent. Okay, you big old Connect racist. A, yeah. a. All the time, you know. So where'd you leave off at, Doug? At, at Frumpy. That's Frumpy. Crazy. There you go. Ooh, I got yeah. lost. There's the Desert Hawk. Goober's Goobers He's here to destroy cities. Arg. Yeah. Drawn it. I'm scared. JJ's nine. Our yeah. Scotsman. Mm. And who is this? There's somebody new. Peak idiocracy. Like it. This is it. That's no. But that's I, DC six six. Who? The CC66 character. Just used a different name. Oh, I see. That guy is famous mm. on Twitter. You really oh, very that. famous on Pawn Twitter. Pawn sauce and rituals. Uh, rituals. Hey, Ritz, what's it's up? Ritz. Yeah. Better. It's like crackers, man. Mm-hmm. He's from a, a foreign country. Ooh. And he likes Americans. You know, he's like mm. the world he used to be. Yeah. He had yeah. an appreciation yeah. for yeah. America, by yeah. God. And I understand that how great this country is. It used to be. <laughs> you know, we're going to make it great again. It if used to was. To <laughs> hand, I'll do it. <laughs> you making America like it used to was again, Benny. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> used to was. <laughs> and hey, here, I'm an official red world. We, what? Yeah. In a perfect world, we'll uh, come get you, buddy, and we'll drag you uh, back kicking and screaming to Mark, and we'll make you do what? I don't know, but something. Okay, and you make them squeal like a pig? Uh, that's that's not deliberate. I'm going to tell can, you right now, that right is Boom. racist. Listen, I live, I can walk out my door right here and head in three directions <laughs> and hit the river. <laughs> and they ain't. No. <laughs> you're you're ge- geotypographing me something here, and I'm not liking the feel of this thing. First of all, I can't tell you where the new thing is. Yeah, I got it. All right. All right. You're not a you're not a butt raping guitar playing redneck that you know makes money off of really bad movies. I understand. That's all right, boy. <laughs> Now, the other side of the damn coin, put the banjo down and step away from the keyboard. <laughs> what have we done, Benny? Here we go. 
I, okay. I'm actually I'm actually finding my fingers to the strings a little bit better at yeah. you know. Yeah. Now, a true definition of the yeah. word play. No, no, no. But, no, no, but listen, yeah. beating on Bert is a little, yes. You're, you're setting yourself up for banjo lessons, aren't you? Huh? 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 No, 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 no. So I'm that, developing, no, I'm finding yeah. the feeling develop. I'm making uh-huh. a brand new whole thing deal out of this. It ain't, yeah. it ain't really, it's mm. like acoustic banjo, yeah. I think. Close as I could get to describing it. Have you landed like, or are you still flying? I am flying high, baby. I noticed that. Is the lack of nicotine high. is like giving your brain more oxygen or what? It's what's good. what's yeah. the results yeah. of your experiment so far? Well, sir? I've I've not had to hold my head underwater till the bubbles quit coming up. So I'm saying it's okay. <laughs> okay, well, still, you know, it's a major <clears throat> people see. We're all taught to make big deals out of little things and to make a, a little thing into a big deal. That's what I think. And here you are kind of proving it. And okay. how I mean it's, it's a big thing, it's a little thing, is what you were saying earlier about you, know, the, you get a craving, but it only lasts for a brief period. So It's not even – I wouldn't even call it a brief period. I wouldn't even call it – Fleeting or yeah, maybe fleeting. It's like all right, but when and something, I quit. Listen, right. I quit in 2017, so it was great practice. I know mm-hmm. exactly what yeah. to expect. And well, listen, there's really doesn't even cause you great pain. No. Think of it like this. Right. Think of it like a healing. You know, when you're mm-hmm. healing like a, 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 a scab under there. You know, and, <laughs> it, it just that itch is a good I thing, right? Think. Okay, that's the same thing as that craving. It's but your mind's tricking you, right? That's what addiction is. But That's Vinny, something. you're assuming that people have minds to think with. Some people don't. They just do what they're told. So you just got to tell them what to do. They're like, okay, I'll do that. Just tell them you're like a doctor or something. They'll fall under your hypnotic gaze and do your bidding. You seen it? If if uh, if I just say things like, I have a, a friend that's a doctor. Hmm. And he says, or what if I just said, I seen a doctor on TV say, well, he wasn't really a doctor, but he played one on TV. He said, does that give me well, like special what I'm, what I'm getting at is, as authority? I think that you'll pull this off. You sound motivated. You got a plan. You're doing stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Stuff, Listen, right? I, I did this exactly before. as not with a plan. No, why, why do it the same way as before? Hmm. You just you know what to expect from previous results. That's not no, a plan? This and, no. Okay. I didn't plan this at all. No. Oh. I just waited for it to happen. And it right. did. And I I was like, I don't have any rules mm. except for, yeah, I'm going to be done. Well, so I smoked uh, one one cigarette. I really that, didn't call it. Smoked them. No, listen, stop. Okay. The first day, no. uh, that night, after supper, I was down at friends. Uh, oh man, those are some good beans and cornbread. I'm gonna tell you that boy can cook. Uh, I says, I says, uh, give me one of them cigarettes, sir. And I, I got it, and I held it, and I looked at it, and I didn't even have a craving. I said, well, I think I'm just gonna hold this cigarette. And I said, I'll smoke it if I want to. And you know what? Later that night, I says like. I can say a few cigarettes if I smoke you, if I don't. And just because I, I probably be like, I should have smoked that. I cut it in half and I smoked half of it. And it was like, nah, well, not really, you know, getting that big, yeah, yeah, yeah out of it. Hmm. So the next morning, I was like looking at that, the filterless end that I hmm. cut off. I go, oh, this is going to be right. terrible, but I have to do it. I lit it up. Oh, I about cough my lungs out. I stabbed that butt out, or the, the half in there, and I was done. That was it. So okay. this is, well, this would be, would that be two days ago, I guess? So I guess I'll knock, uh, we can call it day two then. I mean, for actual no no tobacco, but three days, I, I tried to hit that one. Then I we're going to We're going to call this part of the episode... Vincent separates from the Siggies. 
I'm not keeping up with Chad either. <laughs> I've seen something, but I didn't. I'll have to back up. Well, and and then, but I, and then too busy. the yeah, show yeah, can, today huh? is called "If It Looks Like a Duck." Right. No, just "If It Looks Like a Duck" is the name I, of our show tonight. And, and you look and, like a duck. Good, thank you. I said good ponder gander, baby. Well, you're the one that thinks ducks are evil, and I'm the one that likes ducks. So Listen, you don't make sense. I, I know for mm. a fact that ducks, mm. they have a very dark side to them. <laughs> yeah, that's why they're all over the world killing people. Yes, it's just conspiracy. It's for <laughs> world domination. It's the, the evil duck dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a TV show with a bunch of rednecks that turned out to be actors? Not to be confused with uh, rednecks in uh, Louisiana. Yeah, they live down around Monroe, Louisiana. Monroe. Really fine folks. You know, the show I've only seen a few times that was because I was like where it was being watched at. And it's like, I think they really look for stuff to make. It's really pulled out of context. It, uh the show was so popular, and the people uh, involved, the, the family there, and especially that one man, whoever is, I don't even know none of their names. But anyways, real good, fine folks. They got, they make duck calls is where their uh, their fame to claim, I guess, come from. Hey, uh, did did you know that old little old Greta got a, a little competition from the other side of the coin in her homeland? Is this the boy Greta or the girl Greta? Because I'm confused. there's a boy Greta. What boy, uh, Greta? Gremner says no. It's only the name of the band. It's like there's no. Leader. Oh yeah, there, there's no, no Jethro. Yeah, yeah. In, no. Uh, Greta Van yeah. Fleet is a rock band, and yeah. well, Greta von Thurnberg is a Swedish actress that's making a fucking killing off the climate change story. And a lot of people I don't. I think don't... it's a real person. I think it's. It looks to me yeah, like yeah, a little. Yeah, yeah, No, no, like no. Like when them. You know what was that robot go. movie? Had a little. Yeah, it looks like a little uh, android type. I don't even know if right. it's real. Well, what, believe, they, yeah. what they did was they got a, her parents are in the industry, the acting and all that. She herself is a crisis actress. So yeah. they, it's all it's all financed and set up and approved by, you know, come on. And there's a lot, of, sadly, there's a lot of people that are, are believing this shit's real. So I think I confused Grimner, I said abomination. <laughs> You're, abomination. Oh no, 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 not. Don't talk about ex POTUS like that. I don't know what I was talking POTUS about. POTUS guy. It wasn't Obama, was it? Certainly. Obama. Do you know Obama that he, his uh, other half? What? His better half is related to me. Oh, yeah. Mrs. Obama. That's is right. Is it a Mrs. or a Mister then? Uh, well, you would know. It, well, did you ever rub know, his nuts or anything? I mean, hey, I've, how close uh, are I, you? I have uh, put out a request for contact and mm. say, hey, what's up, Ken? Ken, folk? Ken I'd folk. like to know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look, yeah. for the mm. for the greater good, yeah. knowledge of man. <laughs> the greater good. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm 16 years old. I've <laughs> done in the red stick, done baton rouge. Yeah. And uh, I was like, I think I'm going to go down. To the Big Easy, baby. Mm-hmm. So I'm right down there on the old gray dog on the back down there. And this old boy, he's just telling me, you ever been down here? I said, no, nah, I ain't never been. Mm-hmm. I was 16. Drinking mm-hmm. age, I was 18 at the time. Mm-hmm. And I was getting away with uh, being 18 for mm-hmm. quite some time. He says, listen, you meet a little gal down there, and you think you might have, feel a little spark in your heart. He says, reach down there and grab her between her legs. says, she got something that you got. I said, huh? He says, you know what you got. I said, oh, really? Yeah. Well, as it turns out, I'm down there on Bourbon Street and walking around amazed, <laughs> amazed, 16-year-old. <laughs> and I'm, I'm looking inside this door, an old gal up there dancing. And a fellow there, he's a, you know, the doorman there, and, and a sign's right there beside him. It, it's registering off my peripheral over here. I'm looking, and I had to look over, and I said, Female impersonator. Now, I'm not naive, nor was I then by any means. I says, let me ask you something. I says, uh, this is female impersonating, they're impersonating famous females, or he says, right. Yeah. Well, I was surprised. Huh. Tell you for sure. Well, wasn't that exciting, sir? The 
the beignets. Is that what they are? Yeah, they'll no. powdery donuts mm. and coffee. Uh, I don't know, fantastic. but see, this uh, United Nations kid that they're promoting is one thing. Now they got a a, a right wing girl. I guess in America it'd be the uh, opposite. I guess here it's left. It's all it, it, I explain it. It's really fucked up. But whatever the opposite to uh, the Greta girl is, they got now they got a kid that's Danish doing the opposite side, and she's picking up a little attention along the way. But what she faces that the Greta kid doesn't is the censorship because this side of the coin is not the popular side. It's, we're not supposed to be against the climate change. You know what time it is now? Four twenty. It is. You know how I know? I have a clock right on my computer right in front of me. And I went, hey, what time is it? And my Uh, eyes went to the clock. Do I have time? To do what? Do I have time? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have time to praise Greta if you want to. I doubt it. But, well, you know, the sad thing about all this is that, you know, history has shown us over and over, whatever is promoted is always bullshit doesn't even matter the topic or the country anymore it's just if you dig deep enough you'll find out you were you were mis you know misdirected at some level and climate change is a you know the present crap that we're dealing with eh. i just light up another pipe load and hope it doesn't hurt the child cuz she's very sensitive <coughs> cough cough She's I'm very like, sensitive. Hacking some stuff. Okay, but you yeah. know what? You can't run around the freaking world reading a script that uh, blames the mm. people you're talking to for stealing what your parents are selling. <laughs> it's <coughs> it's kind of hypocritical. Now, listen, hey, wait, wait, like, there's listen. one from Dane. Wait a minute, I'm confused. I need to, you to help me. We're one from yeah. Dane Land, right? Denmark. No, 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 no. They're both from Sweden. Oh, they're both from Sweden. Yeah. Oh, I see now. If I posted did, it the I other day Denmark. for everybody to see. Yeah, no, no, I no, no. I don't read anything about Greta or Trump, just to tell you right now. I know that. No you, you don't but follow anyways, much, but you I have opinions. Huh? Yeah, you don't. I know that. Uh, I know. So, that's what did you want to talk about? Cooking recipes? Yeah. No, <laughs> I want What's to your, talk about oh, that. What's your favorite uh, recipe for duck? My favorite recipe for duck is talking about how somebody can sell their fucking kid out and uh, get away with this shit and put it out there like it's newsworthy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm doing a search for that. How you spell that? Spell what? Now you're being mean, Vinny. Stop it. I have to <laughs> stop it, Vinny, or I shall be forced to hurt you. <laughs> hey, I ain't been paying attention to chat. Yeah. Anybody have, what's anybody? Are they? Talk, there's somebody. There's Doug talking about Thunderbird. See, and I don't blame the kid. The kid's trying to make a dollar and a place in history. Fuck, who wouldn't? The pro, the problem I got is that the information is bullshit, and the players involved are more interested in their freaking bankroll than they are in getting the truth out to anyone. They don't give a flying fuck about anybody but themselves. And still, time you, after you time, realize here we are. How the world works. Yeah, right? well, I'm just making a point of that. As many times as they do this, there are still some of us that see the bullshit in it. There's just not a lot of us. It's a very small group, Benny. Very small. Hey, it, what? Sometimes, sometimes you you know you get so caught up in something you don't even realize that you caught up in it, right? Because, I guess hey, I don't know what am I kind of isn't belief great? It's like the, your own personal religion that you get to mm. cater mm. to just all the likes that you like, mm. isn't it? It's like being a liberal <laughs> or a conservative. Uh, well, that's kind of broad. And and how do you do that with? I mean, do you go out in public? Are you a conservative? When you go out and engage people in the real physical world. Do they look at you and know that you're conservative or not? How do you do this? Well, I usually come across and dress as, as a conservative, and then a lot of times if somebody hear me talking and not be seeing me, they might think that I was a liberal. So, 
Yeah, because uh, you're as conservative as I am about some issues, and then well, in some ways you're very liberal. So there's like a balance about it. But yeah, it has, you got to use and, words yeah. in generalization like yeah. that, right? Well, because I mean, they would really, if you boiled it back down to where this is what they're supposed to be, then we ain't really neither one of them. Well, I still believe that the the game that they're playing. Everybody that's playing it is on the same damn thing. They're they're oh, not yeah. opposing any fucking thing. They're they're lied to about what's really going on, and it's like three card money right in front of you, and the guy that's in it doesn't know he's being suckered, and he won't listen because he just won twenty fucking bucks. Hey, wait a I minute! I lost a twenty three jewel hmm. Bolivar. Yeah. to three card money, and you know what? <laughs> oh I, good. Listen. No I way. had a buddy and we was in, uh, working together, and he comes back. I said, "Where's my money?" He says, "Man, these these guys got me, man." Yo. I said, "You fool! You yeah. fell for another man's game." I said, "Where are they at?" And I go back down there and I like, "What? Uh, huh? Dude. Yeah." Oh man! Mm. I said, "I'll win our stuff back." You just got too slow. I man. yeah. Now, that that was the big. Yeah, that was a big lesson. Don't okay. do the other man's game. And what happens yeah, and when knowing, you do that? Yeah, knowing, going in, knowing it was, it was yeah. set and rigged, right? Yeah. But I didn't understand how. Yeah. Well, is, right? it, is that how you see the political thing, or do you see it differently than oh, that? Oh, yeah. Three-card money, you can't get a better example. Unless you want to add to it and say Ponzi scheme. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, because it's not just this old single little old thing all by itself, right? Uh, yeah. Right, right, uh, right, right, uh, right, yeah, right, 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 right. Hell, anybody know that. Well, see, it's the stuff that everybody knows that's causing all the problems. Because the shit that we all know is all bullshit. And the shit that we don't all know seems to turn out to be absolute truth in the long run. Like, hey, stop it, like, stop it. I've yet to hear one apology from government for 90 years of bullshit about cannabis and hemp. Not one fucking thing to you. Modern studies indicate, no, 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 no. The truth of it is they lied to sell synthetics. Why don't they just say so and just convert over to the fucking shit that'll work? So what we got is, oh, there this, it is. What we got is this political thing dragging the the legality of this out for however many generations they can to squeeze it. Listen, there's no need to confuse people with the facts. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right. I apologize. Right. I mean, would it Shoot do any me. good for a bunch, to have a bunch of angry people running about shouting how the government's lied to them for all these years? No, it would not be a pretty picture, sir. Wow, I would. I thought that's what all you people lived for was an apology from the person that did you the wrong. And then here I am saying, "Hey, why did you get your freaking apology and then set everything straight and start fresh?" That's how you do it. It was an apology. This man, you you can do serious harm because I'm sorry. Fix it. Hey, isn't uh, Grimner? I'm sorry if it meant Grimner. Isn't cannabis marijuana still a Schedule One? On the for, yeah, on the, the fed, criminal so. federal fucking bullshit, and so, all along here we are. We're all intelligent. We can all read. We've all used it to some level or another. The those of us with physical experience and proof know better. And people that are stuck on stupid with the state shoved down their throat all these years, they're instead of embarrassing them and saying, "Hey, look, we lied." Get over it. And we're fixing this, which would work better. Instead, they're going to drag it out for as long as the money will pay off. That's what I'm saying. There's a faster way to do this, and they're not going to do it because there's more profit in dragging it out. If you beat a horse to water, can you make the river give it a drink? For a dollar. All right. How? Well, that's probably, you know, that's make probably the river a good deal. Boy. A dollar isn't very much anymore. If you but get a, anything it, for a dollar these days, yeah. it's like, wow. You can't tell water what to do, mister. Water dictates you, to you. Listen, you can, you can go for a dollar and buy 
a dried out cow mm. turd patty, mm. a poop, mm. a patty mm. for a dollar, and that would be a good deal probably. Wow. Mm. It's like if you was an Alaskan mm. and paid a dollar for an ice cube, mm. you'd be getting a good deal. Grimner, mm. I was not. You completely you know, lost me on all that. original I name. No idea. Uh, excuse me, I was yeah. interrupting you. Uh, Grimner said, yeah, cannabis is still a Schedule One. All right. Oh, yeah, I see. And, and uh, see, and what, what I mean, with, 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 all the, with all the information that we have on, you know, available to all of us equally, and, and it doesn't take a lot of intelligence to really understand, okay, we got lied to. Not this bullshit, religious crap, or whatever else it is. The truth. They lied to us to make synthetics some profit for a few families. And it, that, if, say if they, the public knew these kind of things, they would still probably not do anything about it at this point in history. So it wouldn't matter. But I'd still Okay, let's better. look at plants. Hmm. Let's look at the I like to compare cannabis to the tomato plant, you know. Oh right? yeah. You, so you're so, making yeah. flowers in the front yard Carrot, yeah. and eating them, right? Or consuming hmm. them at least. Now, as far as let's schedule these two plants, cannabis and tomato. I like just concentrate on the mater plant over here. It's a uh what do they call a a, a nightshade. And that with potatoes and peppers and eggplant. I've said this before. And they they have a chemical in their solenade or something like that. I probably pronounce it, but anyway, something like that uh, that causes uh, physical angst to some people, like with arthritis, because of you know the there's a imbalance going on in your body. But anyways, where it all comes from. But yeah, if you want to schedule, I would say that tomato plant ought to be put before the uh, the cannabis yeah about harm and it's only minor harm now what harm would cannabis cause can you uh, can <laughs> wow. you tell can you think anything that uh well people say what smoking it no the, the smoke in your lungs well then you can eat it yeah that, that that's a choice i don't know but you know, Benny, if, if you're allergic to a tomato okay yeah, that it in itself is another one of these Rockefeller fucking Gizmachi fucking deals that we got given. It's it probably man -made. came from something else. Exactly, <laughs> you're having a reaction. Something else is causing you to be allergic to that. Yeah, and like. these things, well, and they're kept so secret, and we're told so little and such misdirecting concepts about it. I, I got a lot out of Clint Richardson talking about this. With uh, who was the other guy? Do you remember the other guy's name? When they were doing a big run on inoculations, yeah. but uh, I'm bad with remembering names. But yeah. Clint, Clint's done a lot of good radio over the years, I'm telling you. And from listening to other people, I've uh, you know, uh, kind of accumulated my own way to look at certain things based on what made sense from the new input compared to the old shit. I'm going over here to you see what on TV on the YouTube you know, channel. Take the, I'm gonna find okay, them. I'll stall for a minute. But take No, the, no, no stall. I, oh, I can oh, talk oh. to you if you need. But I was going uh, off with, you know, the inoculations and my my opinions of that were shaped by listening to what these other guys were saying. And logic and reason to me is not logic and reason to the next guy. You've got to find what makes sense to you and go with that. It's about all we got left. Hey, I am Lone Frog came in to, was over here visiting reallibertymedia.com and the yeah. chat channel. Yeah. And he, he had said there just the other day that uh, I'm echoing again. Clint, uh, Clint Richardson came on in Jules and they did a broadcast together on mm. uh, CRISPR. Mm. This is um, about three days ago. So I'm going to bring that link. Like, Five hours and 11 minutes. Oh. So they did some talking about it now. Mm -hmm. if, uh, if anybody doesn't know, in, in, include this in here. You can, From there, you can go back into the playlist and find Clint Richardson, Shali Lama. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And the yeah. other guy you're talking about. <laughs> here, just, if you'll include this in the, mm. the uh, uh, link. Uh, the today, one you just the, put up right now? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm copying yeah. it right now from the so, YouTube. Let me make if sure anybody it's listening open. downstream, go to ucy.tv on uh, YouTube, their channel, and you can find all there. This title being Jewel, uh, Clinton Jules Talking CRISPR on, uh, that's 
C R I S P R on R B N. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yes. Sorry. Okay. Got it. <laughs> I think that's what is it? Yeah. Public Broadcasting Network. Clinton oh. Jules talking crisper on R B N twelve seven nineteen. So they went. Uh, I guess they go day, month, year. Huh? Yeah. No, that's okay. month. Month, day, year. Okay, month, day, year then. Yeah. 12, now, Grimner, he's, he, he's been... Okay. He, he used to want to all make sure, because this was like a, for D-Base or whatever it was, you start with a year, hmm. month, day. Well, I, yeah, I like this the way Grim does it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the American is month. And then I live in Denmark, so everybody does, you know, it's just, there's common sense to this. If it's, you know, over 13, it's a day. You don't have to. Oh, I look at it like this. Say, uh, somebody said, what's the day? Mm. You wouldn't say, this is 2019. Yeah, we start now. <laughs> but uh, if you're looking for data, yeah, then you would be like, well, specifically, I want to start in this spot here, in this mm. year. So instead of saying, I want to look for Clinton Jules in December, you say, I want to look for, cause maybe this is a couple of years down the road, uh, I want to look for Clinton Jules in 2019, yeah. December. Yeah. Right. So it makes sense. It's just the difference between, uh, I think, remember what he described it as, is, I forget. Anyways. Hmm. Yeah. It, it, Hey, it is what it is. Hmm. It's cold reality, baby. I like Shali it. Yeah. yeah. But he didn't, I don't know, he gave up the radio to write a book, and then he picked up the radio right. in Utah for a couple of weeks with uh, with Shali. Clint did. Back in September. Because I remember you thought I was Thanks losing so. my mind putting up reruns, and then, no, I got live live shit they were just doing but then if you open up youtube you'll see you know it'll say after it this is a random replay but these were right. fresh oh right. you, you tend to argue with me without looking at what i'm looking at you no, just I'm look at what, with you right now. this time yeah this but last shut time. up and quit disagreeing <laughs> with me i ain't disagreeing with you <laughs> but that's Hell's what we do point. man hey 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 don't forget where you're at anyway Shut up. Rituals, rituals back at like uh, seven thirty one says, but why? And asked me, you know, Flash. But why, Flash? And it was after the cannabis is still a schedule one. And I will answer my opinion yeah, of this. Well, is, I'm gonna light one for that one, baby. All of good stuff. about the fucking yeah, think the money that these people believe they're making. Whatever side of this crap that you're on and. As long as you're clinging to money, you're the problem. And we, we're, we're all trapped in this freaking thing. And if you don't know you're trapped in it, then you think you're a willing player. Then things are a little skewed and you, you believe things that aren't true. About like freedom and you know sovereignty and all this. Freedom! Oh, well, all these crazy ideas that they throw at us that when you seriously fucking think about if you want to live a comfortable life in society, right? Society is it's socialism. I don't give a fuck what kind of society it is. It doesn't matter if it's a communist or a, a Republican or a Democrat. It's all fucking... Society, right? All socialism. And there you go. Is a communist and a communist the same thing? I would think so. And then there's Is different the levels of ah, there's different levels of how far you take your political shit in reality too, Vince. Because some people just tolerate the crap that's around them and try to abide by the fucking rules as best they can and just ignore yeah, most of it. It's just a bunch of crap. Don't let it don't let it fester in your head like it's real and make you a prick. Nasty to people because the government wants to control what hours we can smoke in the bar and what room we can be in and all this shit. So You know, I, uh, you used to be able to smoke in a bar even when they made it against the law in California out in the uh the non uh Call me California. Yeah, they had rules. Or, I was living there when yeah, it started. Right? To, 
what if, I was out there, they you use a candy dish. No, no, no. If right? the bartender, if the bartender was uh, the sole proprietor and didn't have a staff over so many, then they would let you smoke oh. in the bar. I was talking about when they said "f you" to the law, and they said "smoke them if you got them, baby." Oh, you I know don't what I did? That. I got rid yeah. of all my ashtrays yeah. except yeah. for this little tiny one for uh, uh-huh. the uh, little <laughs> sub friends. <laughs> <laughs> so Vinny's gonna. Hey, hey, am I gonna be a, a a big old asshole when a friend comes over and wants to smoke a cigarette? And I say, listen, I don't smoke. Oh, that. It's all right. They think, listen, no, I ain't smoking with you neither. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, but if I go to their house and they smoke, I can't say. <laughs> Would you mind putting that cigarette out? Yeah, but look at all the all the money you don't spend on that. You can blow it on heroin now. So, yes, winner, I mean, winner, winner chicken dinner. Chicken and heroin. That's and right. Definitely, yes, now that, you can have a, a good that. habit that'll get you places in life. Move to Hollywood, become a movie star. Wow. What do you think? No. It's, it's my uh, best no. American advice. I thought advice. about it. I mm. thought about it, and I'm going to go. No. Mm. I'm going with no. And I, Rituals said, yeah, that's the harsh. Okay, I was, I was close because I was guessing on what word. There's the time delay. So I was kind of guessing on what you were commenting on. About what? What yeah. Vanna's name yeah. was. Oh, Van. No, we. I don't think we ever asked Grim directly either. So why don't you go ahead and do it this time? Hey, Big Papa, what was Vanna's, uh White's name before the uh, the sex change? I mean, the, the uh, trap, or what do they call it? Um, name, what do you call that? The name upgrade. What do you call that when you shift gender one gender to a gender? No I don't gender. call it anything, buddy. You got to recognize well, that. What, shit is, what do they, I don't know what the word is for bots when they do that. I'm not because getting into before it. Uh, the Vanna the before was people were saying it has doesn't have a uh, uh, feminine or masculine, and everybody or most people was kind of thinking it is it, hey that's barman's gal right. The Vanna White is definitely a feminine name, right? Hey, you got you, you need. We need to get Grimner on one time and yeah. fix your end where yeah. I'm not hearing me like fifty times back. There's something wrong. You're you're what just, is wrong? Is my you're getting on your own nerves? Yeah. No, I <laughs> hearing myself. Blah, 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 that's what it comes I back. I don't to. know. It's reverb or echo something or whatever. In, something in your equipment. Am I still Blame alive me. in chat or what? <laughs> uh, Did the thing die? I Did it die or see, what? Let me look. Are you... Let me hit a dot. see Vinny PG there. There you my go. Hair, You're you in there. My, uh, yeah. Okay. See, you big egomaniac. I heard something. No, I heard Jeez. something clicking. I didn't see where it was. Hey, I, I got something was. for you to read. I'm going to post a link. It's called Voters Without Knowledge. I was posting lines out of it earlier on the RLM when uh oh RLM fluke I like fluke that. that's right because Hank wanted yeah, to do fluke. the fluke I like that name <laughs> now now she remembers in the kitchen oh yeah fluke <laughs> yeah oh, great yeah. right anyway we miss you fluke we miss the oh, old you right. you see this you see this link I just posted voters without knowledge yeah I have it open okay so oh, how how you are slaves. No, that's not the same no. one. <clears throat> not the same one you gave me earlier? No, this is new. This is a part of the one that I gave you earlier. This is out of the... Uh, so I this see. is broken down. But get me, get you. I might Oh, guess what I got? The, I the flu? Stuff. Hmm. No. Marijuana. I don't know. Mm. Benny got a girl for... I don't know what. Benny. Jeez. It is. Right. It is. I love you, Mary Jane. Ah, he got his girlfriend, Mary Jane. And they're doing the wild 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 wild. I know. So anyway, did you open the link? I'm doing, yes, I'm doing Uh, visuals now, or audio for the visual. Oh, I got a lick sword. Look at the little baby. I'm like a... It's a modest proposal. I'm like a celebrity. I got a lick sword. Anyway. It's called Voters Without Knowledge, the Modern Zombie State. That 
Did you see that? That's what I opened. Of the lack of knowledge of the citizens of the United States about their own government can be seen like clockwork ever four years, and yet more ceremony and ritual, rich, shout out, than designed to fool the common people and divert their knowledge. This knowledge is needed, not just for the purposes of exposing the fraud and making good men unfit to be slaves, but also to show just how important an election of this year political position as head of the United States, incorporated and commander in chief of an entire military, actually is for the implementation of law requiring one thing above all others violent enforcement. You will comply, die, good sir and ma'am. Without voters, without knowledge, it is a modern zombie state. <laughs> Very good, Vince. <laughs> well, how do you how did you take that? I'm hungry, Sunday. <laughs> For brains. No, are are you a, I'm are not you a zombie voter? Back, back, huh? back. Uh, zombie genre is my favorite. <laughs> Absolutely. There's so many different aspects of what it the actual zombie apocalypse <laughs> is. Well, I think a lot of we're, what we're in it, ain't we? I, well, no. What we're in is the the collective disagrees about the joint reality. See, <laughs> so that's how they keep what whatever we're doing. How they keep it in, in perpetual motion is the confusion and all the problems. I mean, it, I'm sorry, but the U.S. Patent Office yeah. has declared that perpetual motion is impossible. <laughs> And, uh, so you're therefore rejected <laughs> your application. Yeah. Okay. No. All right. Don't so take to it home. Listen, take, but don't tell anybody about it either. I won't. And I'll keep it to myself. Just a warning. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. You could be made to disappear. Okay. Be I, no more. Uh, yeah. yeah. So four. You take. You in, take your. Mm -hmm. In election time. The masses of people go through the useless motion of registering, in parentheses, obtaining legal residence in Washington, D.C., and standing in line to vote for a U.S. president that is apparently unbeknownst to the vast majority of that population, actually indirectly elected by 538 congressional appointed electors, Every four years, in parentheses, not by the people. This seems to reveal that great and purposeful culling of reason, logic, and especially knowledge has taken place within the population center of this nation of America. A people contractually enslaved by a corporation called United States, seemingly without their comprehension. It is this knowledge that must find its way into the hearts and minds of the indentured subjects of this corporate state, if for no other reason than to make them unfit to be slaves to a president they do not even elect. Only by exposing the true history of this central corporation we mistakenly call a country will the people ever be free to rid themselves of its tyranny. <laughs> What do you think of that shit, man? Huh? 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 That's some shit. I guess I lost me. <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. Uh, listen, I'm going to tell you where. What? what what's uh? What, what would I call it? It's it's erroneous. The whole deal there. What? What it should be working like is, is where, uh, population centers are not controlling the rest. It should be like uh, uh, a castle controlling all the outlying villages, right? Uh, and that's that's what what the electoral electorate should should be preventing. It should be preventing these big voting blocks. Say, let's say, like uh, uh, what's a good example of uh, California, where you can really see where it started at. But let's go to uh, to the Pacific Northwest in uh, uh, Oregon or Washington, uh, where you have this big 
gulf and divide uh, between the uh, the cities, liberal cities, and the conservative uh, urban areas or rural. But you know these words all used again in trickery. I refer you back to uh, Hal Anthony behind the woodshed here, Real Liberty Media Sundays. Uh, behind which it that's okay a, a pathfinder and looking at how this all lays out and as, now may have a hard time following sometimes and that's where it requires and i'm talking to somebody specifically right now the, that means that they uh further listen anyways I, i'll just drop it right there before i say more of those ones hmm. yes hmm. keep listening behind the woodshed hmm. Thank you, barman. That's that that name will never change. Hmm. He sets a bar. He's the the, the bot man setting the bar here. Hmm. Of reallibertymedia.com. Okay. We're in a perfect world, you know. So, you and I. So, he, but you're still you don't like the the way they presented this side of the argument. I'm a little bit confused now. Is that what, what are you you're confused saying? about? What? What say you're? Me, say it again. What are you, are you not happy with the way they presented their side of this argument? What does it? it would it do me any good to be happy or unhappy about it? It wouldn't change anything. Do any, you any, any good? Facts, got right? anything to right. do with doing you good? You what, what you're reading there is the the throwing the flip at you there, right? Mm. They're saying electoral uh, the electoral college is bad a bad thing. Is that what you? Is if, that how you take it? Yeah, that's what they are. That's how I take it. Well, I don't care what you take or not. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing here. That's They're what I'm blowing this hmm. flip out here. The electoral college is the is the cause of the problem. No, but they're you, they're you telling you that, that. I'm not saying you you you. I'm saying what this article just and what I've read so far yeah, in that title yeah, yeah. saying that. Look, the if it was working the way that it was presented to be in the beginning. Then you would have a true representation. These uh, people going to uh, to that position, these delegates would uh, um, really be giving the whole voice of the of the people to the matter. It's not where you could have the castle over there. See, that's like I was talking about here, which really exampled with you know from Seattle to Spokane uh, and uh, Portland to uh, Medford or wherever the different sites. Uh, you can see there, there's there's a big gulf. So right? wait, does this and, mean that you believe the vote picks the fucking selection, or are I? I'm just curious what what you think. No, I thought I've been being clear. I'm telling no, you. No, you're this, so confusing with all the explanation. No, I, I what? You're Cut and dry. Do, do, do you I think vote? And do I do, do I endorse it? Am I saying that this is what is great and good? No, I'm telling you what I'm presenting to you. What is? And it, what is 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 not really a mystery. What is isn't is lost uh, off into uh, not having a true and full understanding of of what uh, it is. Of what? Right? No. Well, what, it, what is this? Is, is what? What you? You take is you take voting things. Voting good or is voting bad? I, is, that's is not that, what I asked final you. Final question. I know, but I'm asking for your final question. Oh, sir. for me? It's not your I, final I, answer, sir. Voting is for people that. Have no spine. They can't take life on their own. They need other people to to approve them. So I think votes is a waste well, of time. See, you're going you're going and bypassing where that person that's voting feels that they are empowered in doing so is they assume that by voting that they will be able to uh, effectuate the change that they want. And you believe that's what happens when people vote? Why are you saying what I believe? I'm asking because I'm talking to you. You want me to ask my yeah. My dog? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hannibal. Get Hannah, Get Hannah well, in here. Jeez, Vince. Who else I, am I got? You want me, here, sir. I'll ask Grimner, who's not on the radio Grimner. with me, what he thinks what about this. What difference what? does it make what I believe or don't believe? It because we're no talking you. On you or it. anybody. It, wow. My belief, my Opinion. belief has, has no... That, yeah, my belief has no power I know over that, anybody. But Unless I believe that I should come out there and kill you, then that would be a problem, right? Wow. See? Okay, the Hansel. Belief in action, uh, right? It's different. Wow. Really? The, all this thing is about belief. is that the illusion of the vote is really about 538 votes. It's got nothing to do with the public. The, these people vote their Those conscience. Those people that are, doing, that are taking that vote are supposed to be 
uh, coming as uh, what's the right terminology? Of this as part of their of a constituency, all right? But it's like the same thing. You can look at uh, they're supposed to block. represent the voting block that they're yeah. supposed to represent, and in the well, course of history, it has been reported that Many these guys. pricks vote their Do what they want to conscience. <clears throat> Uh, and don't weigh the popular vote. They don't give a fuck about the popular vote. Well, this isn't right. just one fucking election. This is all of them. Well, how right. do you think they did this before they could count a million votes? We're being fleeced one more time. This this story that I was reading that I was asking you to read. You and remember the re back to Ron, Ron uh, Never mind. Uh, Paul days. Okay. The, the Never delegates. Mind. No. In, in like, was it in Florida or something? And they were like, Saying these people had no, no get out of here, you. What what was going on in that? Remember back, Grimmerell? No, back to Ron Paul days when he was running. <laughs> it was like no, 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 you ain't mm -mm, you ain't part of this. Get up on out of here. Yeah. Well, he's the independent. That was his job was to distract Mister. Regardless, I'm talking about what was going on there in in the delegate. Uh, what what is it called when they was all together? The delegates there for the. Uh, I don't know the name of the political stuff. Whatever. I don't know, but you give me the I idea forget. that I forget. Really you know, if, if, if you know, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, mm, then you're as lost well, as I Well, yeah. Somebody okay. explain it to you. Okay, crazy man. You say so. Do it. You know what? What? Let me grab this. Uh, I'll no, but that. see, it doesn't really have any effect outside of we're doing a radio show and we're arguing about stuff. So we got to have the argument material or what are we going to do? Sit here and talk about cooking a duck i don't want to do that i want to fight with you about how smart you are sir anyway to continue with this epic saga i really like the story it boggles the mind that anyone can really still believe that the appointment of the commander-in-chief of the united states military u.s president would be left up to a popular vote of the common people but apparently, this illusion is a powerful one, as the millions upon millions of subjects are still voting in droves, urged on by the billions upon billions of dollars spent on maintaining the illusion with media entertainment, some standing in line for hours upon hours, blah, 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 blah. blah. Anyway, the point still to me. Thank you, Governor. The convention comes to, yeah. Uh, like the Democrat, what is that? The. Um, Republican National Convention, that, right? Yeah. RNC, yeah. the DNC, yeah. Because yeah, I used to make whatever. a joke and I Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Said I'm a lot of fun at Republican fundraisers. Ah. Hey, listen, let me uh, make a clarification here. Maybe there mm -hmm. is a, a – obviously what you're hearing and what Grimner is hearing is, is pretty much sounding the same. Mm -hmm. it, and Grimner says that I'm half in love with the state. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. – uh, I understand how it is all corrupted mm -hmm. in, you yeah, know, you, yeah, in yeah. using legal as law, the system's supposed to be in yes. place, and how people believe that it can empower them in this this uh, engaging in this process. Now, it's it's so I mean it, it's tore up from the floor up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what sure. what my what my belief yeah. is is in peace and that power of peace is settled in law in that it is it is corrupt in this system that we have and there's uh, little hope at this point in in my first hand experience the corruption is all the way to where that the the FBI is is making the crimes they're fi they go out and yeah. find yeah. the person and then they pro pro they produce the scenario and and make yeah. i i seen it and then when and the person tries to defend themselves in the court of law, the the judge shuts them down. Um, it, it's the the law set up. They make they make laws now for uh, pay to pollute. Then they want to put carbon tax on the the person. Um, yeah, it, it's all a completely upside down. Every bit of it. Right. But in in trueness, were were law. To pre to be produce peace that that by settlement that that which is settled and established uh, 
borders, right? Uh, walls, perimeters that uh, are constructs of protection of the person and to prevent a person also of causing uh, infringement upon another. Now, yeah, were that to be the, the system, or and, and if it was what's presented now were true, that's what it would be, but it's not. So, yeah, I, I think that uh, there are places and positions that uh, need be occupied by people that uh, are in that uh, authority to uh, bring about enforcement and cause compliance on actual uh, crime, right? Mm -hmm. Preventing, if, say, as a peace officer versus a, or a peacekeeper versus a, a police officer, right? That well, that's the difference. Yeah, well, policy enforcer or peacekeeper. And there's there's other variables that as as I lived out of the states, I learned to appreciate that I didn't when I lived in the states. And that first thing was that there's other countries besides America, and a lot of people don't behave in, in you know the electronic society. They they behave as though whatever you know America is to them is it's everything wonderful and happy and all, and that other places depending on their personal inner you know information what they've learned about this other place they've never been to yet they voice opinions about it based on what they get told and then there's some of us that actually go places and talk to the people that. <laughs> And find out what really happens. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop you there. Am I muted? No. No. Yeah. That, no, you're that's, gonna stop me. Well, gonna, I was on a Yes, roll. I'm gonna interrupt you, yeah. and I'm gonna say that is a, in itself an appeal to authority, and that of your own. That uh, your mm. personal observation has uh, commanded more perception than somebody that hasn't been there. I mean, oh, that's yeah. like saying yeah, I see it and I believe it, right? That, that's a it's, well, see, okay, logical the, fallacy. All right. I'm not, I'm not picking on you. Sure listen, you are. That's exactly what you're doing. Follow a little bit. Okay. But listen, yeah. I, I, I It's feel, the difference between... What am I doing? Why, why am I I'm going to tell you because, if you'll let me finish. It's the difference sure. between seeing uh, a postcard of the uh, of the Luxor and going to the Luxor. It's two different it's worlds. It's not the same. It's not That's the what same. I'm fucking saying. And you just spent interrupted me to, to tell me where I'm no, wrong. I'm saying, I'm saying that it's not the same... It, it's not seeing a postcard or going there because you could get, you could go there. Yeah. I mean, you could wander what you can go between your room and the, the, uh, the dining area, the bar, the, uh, what else? The reception desk, uh, up what and down in the point? elevator. But listen, yeah, I could never have gone there. And I'm like, man, I love old buildings. And Why couldn't you go there? You just I, came from Vegas. A couple that's months necessarily. Back. I did not go there but i went there in examination I, I man i looked on the internet i had plans and everything i'd understand how otis got up in there and made that thing go up and down and all that stuff i could know more about that hotel than you having gone there and me not you understand that's yeah. no a power i'm not saying you and me i'm not saying yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. you because uh, i didn't go there though well but. see I don't play. I don't play in the shallow end of the gene pool like that, and so I don't. I don't inspire that kind of side of life. That that would never, never happen. People, people in my life, in my real physical life, are as honest as can, as they can be. So I don't. It's not a. Uh, it's not a competition about knowledge. It's the difference between reading it and doing it. There's two different worlds there. And the physical world gives the person that does it. I wasn't only talking about me. There's other people yeah. on the planet. Vinny. I'm not talking about just you or me, neither. So, because this is an appeal to the authority, that, and that's self authority of your yeah. own perception because you yes. see it, you believe yeah, it. And yeah. I'm telling you, there are, even seeing it with your own eyes, you're not necessarily always seeing what it, what it is. You're seeing uh, what you're being factors. shown. Yeah. Well, fact. why did you take it to that level? On because this is a whole problem with hmm. people. What you're talking about, people 
and their beliefs and their their assumption to know and uh, appeal to authority is is like one of the biggest problems, right? I, I my sister's a doctor, therefore, uh, man, I'm gonna tell you about your your uh, creaky knee, right? It's an appeal to authority, whether it be yours, it, wh whether it be um, being beat about the head with the Bible. Somebody they're they're using it as a, a an assumptive power of authority and position, right? Mm -hmm. It's like it's like uh, they got a majority uh, in of Republicans or whatever, and so that their will stands over uh, those of Democrats. This is the uh, but everybody does that to the other guy. Ultimate, that's yeah, what we do that ultimate, yeah. But that's your in, survival in, in is language right to to the structure of of uh, um, the culture and the society. Okay, well, people. That's think... that's where the biggest. I'm going to say the biggest fallacy that there is is an appeal to authority. Okay, but you're not defining it as anything. You're just giving it some name. What What are you talking about? Be I'm specific. talking about the whole idea that belief yeah. is not entitled uh to be able to enforce a will upon another well right? but it is that's what society it does. does yeah it is it's wrong right, that's not right live a, right but we're not taught that we're all individual of each other we're taught we're all the fucking same and then then they spend a bunch of years telling in encouraging you to be different than than everybody else when you already are <laughs> it's it's so convoluted it's like uh, you were born in, in one state, I was born in another state, but we were both born. So where's the distinction between difference? You weren't born, boy. It's, you fell no, out of our okay. two buzzers. Yeah, collided. but it, it's all relative to your personal information that you have to look at the world with, Vinny. Not everybody well, listen, sees what you see. Anyone's free to be a, is, as idiotic as they want to be, but you can't. Mm -hmm can't just tell me because uh i got this much information and this is what i believe that this is what's true and this oh. is what the power is and no i mean come on well i'm still you, gonna i'm can, still gonna can say a, nah. can a duck and a fish you're not gonna in the chat nah. can they have an argument one or you're one still another? not gonna control what direction i use i'm gonna consistently say that this is all an individual thing but we're taught that it's a collective you have to learn how to how to engage other people. There's levels of engagement that bring you different results. You know, like you have violence will bring you a result. Oh, you have kindness will bring you a result. That kind of idea. Whatever you put into something, you're going to get it. You're going to get your, your balance going to come back to you somewhere. It's like a... I guess a rule of physics in a way, you know, like electronic physics. It just find whatever you do, however you take your life, you know, good or bad. It's what you want. <laughs> that's exa no, the, that, exactly uh, how you, you want. Said, yeah. What? It, violence or kindness. Yeah. The, that, that, so, that, as it, an example. Yeah, but let me show where that comes together. The the uh, the system always uses violence where the kindness comes from the individual and the uh the system has taken up the position of violence as its uh way of in, of causing it hmm. to be you know that the harm instead of uh correcting harm it brings harm wow by See, enforce, enforcement you, of this belief you've right? got to instead of a consistent I... Vincent, right from wrong, right? You, you have a there's very harm or there's not harm. You're stopping somebody from making harm, or Man. you're empowering somebody to live uh, that does that's not doing harm. They're what they're doing is their life. You're and very no specific, Vinny. Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. You're being what? very specific in a very general sense of conversation. Most people do not engage at the level that you do. That's what I've been. I couldn't figure out how to explain that to you before. But the where you take this justice and good shit and all this crap that you believe in is the same place where I go when I with my I don't give a fuck about any of it. It's the same damn thing. It's just opposite. And 
you isolate on an idea. And me, I'm we're just kind of vague about everything. Eh, fuck it. It'll do what it does. Live with it or you don't. Oh, vague. You know? Yeah, oh, but vague. you, you, oh, all right. You're also vague. But oh, you're not. You're very specific about your freaking rule, freaking whatever you think is right and wrong. I, I don't have a problem with rules. Good rules. Bad rules. Mm. Not good. Not good. Yeah. The ones that oh. we all instinctively know and abide by don't need to be written down for the good folk. Well, they need no, to be, maybe they do need to be written down yeah, for the dumb folk. Yeah, well, they, dumb. Be spelled out. That's what the you know intention in the least in the mind of uh, most people that like what the Constitution is supposed to be. Right? Quit raising idiots lie. then and stop the madness instead of. Well, this you can't say that intentional because intentional fucking. There, you you can say it, but you can't say it to the person that's the 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 not the person, but the, even the people though that are making it hmm. and doing any good. It's like. Well, you're stupid because you don't even know what you're talking about. The state right. insisted on it. There's books about this. The intentional dumbing down of the entire fucking planet. Yes. yes. There's we're, so much information on all this. Right. You and I, but <coughs> we, we've gone through see all it? of that. Look back through mm. and understand the process. We've seen it implicated through, mm. you know, in back in history. We say we've seen it. Well, we've also seen it, you and I, in our uh half century plus lifetime here we've seen a lot of change in how the world is and step by step right mm, well, it turns. yeah but you don't see it when it's happening you see it when it's done because when it's happening and you're in the middle of it i was i didn't see the changes until i got through them and looked back then yeah, i went now you're fuck. seeing changes you're seeing changes now as they're they're slow and incremental to others that were at the in the same you know perceptive period that you were just talking about for yourself right but now we see it i do i I'm had sure help you do. Vince. yeah but people told me they warned me they said this kind of was you know you the conversations i was listening to are the conversations that people make fun of you for listening to so it was never ever popular it was always that fringe just like now we're carrying a message. I, I, here, let me let me tell you what happened yesterday. I met these kids. One's a bass player and the other one's a student. He, uh, oh, ah, that's right. Okay. They're young. They're my daughter, my oldest, uh, my youngest daughter's age, 25, 26, somewhere in there. And she'll be 28 soon. Anyway, so I meet these two kids and they're they're interested in American culture and my opinions about what's going on and uh one kid is he his parents brought him up he'll he'll tell me my parents brought me up and gave me encouragement to think for myself not to just believe everything i'm told <laughs> and he's speaking to, to me in english and he also speaks danish so there's that you know, he's got that uh multi-language thing going on which is a it's a huge advantage to have so what I've done is managed to find people that uh, if I don't understand what somebody says in Danish, they'll translate back to me and they won't fuck me with, oh, some kind of joke. Ah, ha, ha. Let's make fun of you, foreigner. So I'm very fortunate in this. Anyway, so last night, the kids called, wanted to hang out. And, uh, it was a little, I don't know. The weather wasn't pretty and all this and that, but I said, hey, I can, uh, Cirque said, why don't you just go up there and go hang with them for a bit? So here it is, and my wife is the one that, you know, hey, why don't you go do this and have a little fun for yourself? And that's not where I come from. I come from people that want to always be in control of what you do and how you do shit. It's probably why I'm so anti you know, rules and regulations and all these all these things for our safety. Just they save a percentage but they hurt the rest. And the things that are important to people are I guess they're influenced by the media. I I don't watch media, but I do know the neighbors watch media. Because uh one of the big things in in, in the street here is to have a big color T V set. So a lot of them do, and then they watch it so that when you pass by the house, you can see they got a big, great, big color TV set. 
And what I don't see is a lot of people online in chat rooms. I see them sitting back watching TV shows. So, there you go. That's the the majority is what people are doing. They don't have uh, the interest. Now, the two kids that I'm talking about, they got computers there online. <laughs> so, hey, Benny. Well, I was just, back, just stalling back. until we got back with my, my last extravaganza in the big city of Renaissance. What What is a stall? Is that like where you put a horse or where yeah. you park? A stall would be a toilet. <laughs> what do you mean? Stall. I don't have a horse yeah. or a car, so a stall. I, no, be a what's toilet. the difference between stalling that uh, the action and uh, a stall? Not being in that place. It's one of those two-way words. I don't I just think. something that hit my mind there where you're stuck and when I heard you said it. Yeah, but to stall is to put off, procrastinate. Mm-hmm. Is it the same word? Yeah, it's the same spelling, same word. Okay. English is like good. that's why they they call it dog Latin for a reason. You you and uh, Mary stand started a booth or compartment for yeah. the sale of goods in the market or large covered area. Going crazy. Uh, and an individual compartment for animals. Uh, the verb is of a motor vehicle stop running or uh, number two to cause or stop making progress stall. Right, but see, when was the definition? Right, one became the other. I guess because it would be the state of capturing and uh, putting into position where there's no further movement okay, beyond Benny, that. Benny, 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 Benny. Uh, beyond yeah, that, listen for a second. When? Oh, who yeah. and when defines these definitions and decides what the fucking word means? How do you shoot that duck? Somebody kill that duck! Quack, quack. We got two shots. Ooh, Grimner missed, and damn Van Meter for the win. Whoop! She got whoop. forty-four ducks. She done killed forty-four ducks, boys. Ooh, hey. I've got, that's, I got a duck. That's, the, that's damn Donna the duck killer. Yeah, well, I've got one, so quit bragging. Anyway, yeah, hmm. yeah. What are you gonna do? Try harder, man. I don't know what to do with you. I think you bumped your head. I'm pretty sure. I'm telling you today. Talking to you today is like been hanging out with Stallone. Hey, forget about it, okay? He mumbles a little bit more now. I can still hear it. There you go. Yeah, just about. You got that redneck twang to an East Coast voice. It's kind of unique. Yeah, yeah. Redneck. What redneck Stallone strikes at in a perfect world. Hmm. Okay, so you don't like my story. I'm going to read another paragraph. Then. Well, go ahead, sir. No, uh, I think I finished that one. Oh, oh. No, there's another oh, one. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh. I found this paragraph. Ah, the electors are the true electors of the president, not the voters. The people, no different than any other corporation and its board of directors. Legislature, for Customers of Walmart do not elect its board or its president any more than U.S. voters do. Well, see, if that is indeed, you know, let's just assume that it's not true, okay, for you, because you didn't like the story. What if that in itself is actually bullshit, and there is no electoral college, they just tell us there is. How do we know there is, and are, are there people you can call at their office and go, hey, butt nugget? You didn't vote for me like you were supposed to. And I'm going to come over to your house and we're going to talk over a bottle of wine <laughs> and some fava beans. <laughs> Don't irritate the guy. <laughs> he means business. Anyway. Are you reading again? No, I'm producing. What are you producing? You'll see, mister. You'll Uh-oh, see. You one just of those. hold on. Should I hang on for dear life? Are you threatening me? Are you threatening me? What? 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 Hurry, hurry up and hold on. Hold on to what? You'll see. Mm. You'll see, Mister. Did you get a uh, meteor da-da. light? Yeah. What? what? Did you Did you get a meteor? Uh, no, but um, it was uh, it was more fat. Oh, it's more fat. Yeah, fattier, fattier. not meteor. Oh, fattier, fattier right. 
Well, isn't that something? What are we going to do with good. that? This yeah. is the first time what is? coming at you here for the 420 report. Oh. Yes, the Buzz Beaver strikes again. And coming up here within mere seconds, seconds. you will find out the brand new regional TikTok, report. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. Vine time fire in the ho, 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 ho. That's right, baby. We're ripping in Rio de Janeiro. Click enter any second. Yeah. And, and wait. All right. Now, go. Boom. It is officially 420 somewhere. Yeah. And? We're ripping in Rio de Janeiro. Ripping in Rio? Oh. We? Yeah, it is. It is 420 in Rio. That's completely the opposite side of the world I'm on. Well, well you can live where you want, Tay. You it, know, it if, is if always they're always 420 somewhere if, in my world. If they're they, down there on the bottom, how come they never fall off? That's what welcome, I'm CT. Who's CT? Cowboy Tech. Are you talking about the cowboy? Oh, I I'm see. talking about Cowboy Tech. I see him now. Correct. Hey, did you know that? Corvallis, Oregon was number 20 order. on that Governor. list of drinking cities in America. Which one? Corvallis, Oregon. Uh, cool. Say it again. It's number one. I what? said it Where? twice. What? Yeah, it is. Never mind. You don't listen. No, my, my brain ah, is Your brain's it is. It's what? Nah, what you say about it? Yeah, what list? You missed it. Where's it at? The one that we already went over this. Uh, 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 uh. Anyway. Is this when I was listening or not? You're, oh, you're never. Vincent, please. The day you listen, I might, <laughs> man, I might actually have to listen back. Then what? Shut what up. What would we do? How would we do a show if I had to actually pay attention? Go, wow. That's right. That's what you're talking about, you crazy wacky people? You're conflicting the occupation. Yeah. If you're mine, mine. Yeah. Oh, I don't, don't mind. No, it but don't see, you're, don't matter. you think that you're going to fix the problem using the tools that created the problem, and I don't see how that could possibly ever work, but it's fun to listen to you, but I, I don't agree with your, <laughs> I don't think that you can fix this mess with the mess that it made it. Oh, <laughs> and that is kind of the way that you come across. Use more rules to fix rules instead no, of abandoning no, no, that no, whole no. concept. No, sir, no, sir, no, sir. I say, do away from these stupid rules that yeah. ain't really rules. Yeah. And listen, hmm. if somebody is supposed to be. Standing for that as a peacekeeper, and instead they're standing as a policy officer against right. And they need to be exposed and called out. Mm. Uh, a lot of people are fighting this, and mm. it's the good fight. And they're coming up on the wrong end, dead or in prison. Yeah, yeah. So what? Mm. You, you've got to keep looking a little bit harder. And, and do not position yourself where you're going to get uh, clobbered and run over and Killed, man, uh, or mangled. Right. Knowledge it's, is a dangerous shit thing to have. Man. It's yeah. scary sometimes too. But you're talking about people that are absolutely freaking doing you the worst harm, and you want to expose them to everybody and let them know these fuckers are fucking you over. Listen, I was just taking a picture of a public officials in in mm. Denver, yeah. and they. Threatened me outright, hmm. not so not so veiled hmm. uh, of having me jailed, hmm. of harassing them. Hmm. I mean that's serious words. It's just not like you know I'm being a jerk and coming up. Even if I was, you hmm. know, and, and taunting them, even even if I sat there and called them goddamn dirty sons of bitches, don't give a good. Yeah, that's hmm. that's what I'm talking about. They take that system and they use it. For their own, per, in, with their own wielding power, this is serious stuff. You want to talk about mad? Yeah, that that'll make you mad. What you is the cure? Vince? These people Vince. that have that look how minor that was. 
me what doing what I have a right to do and take a picture of these people out there <laughs> that were yeah. prosecuting yeah. and prosecuting, persecuting, in much stronger words, Bruce Doucette. Hmm. So but he, Vince, uh, Vince, Vince, he Vince. fell for it, huh? We know what the problem is. What's the answer to See, because wow. over the time that me and you've done right, 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 baby. That's that's the answer. Okay, you want well, to know? Try hmm. to do it better. If yeah, the, if yeah. stuff if stuff is that you've done before, you see that's you want to move forward. Leave off the wrong, and always move forward in the right direction. It's not a stopping point. You can't come to a place and be there. And it's not physical either. It's mental. Yeah. And, and it's. And they shift the yeah it's all you know they it's shift, all in your head uh, yeah they shift the goal on you too mm -hmm. yeah you you've talked about how people have gone into court and beat a ticket well uh, no longer that where was uh, what did I see it just happened yesterday where uh, oh the the judge in having allowed a guy his testimony on his re religious position on taxes and he says the judge re said he regretted. Having done that, well, that's how it happens in court. They once they figure it out, they'll just come right out and say, "No, I'm not going to allow it." I don't have to give a reason why. The judge says, "No, I'm not going to allow it." Uh, mm -hmm. Eric Parker in court. Uh, I was uh, in the position of of self defense. I was being uh, drawn down, you know, beads drawn down on me and uh, on these people, and <clears throat> I'm there collectively. Uh, you know what? When everybody was there in Bunkerville that stood in that gap. They knew, they knew that they might be shot by the government and killed. But you know what else they knew? Why they were there and willing to do that is because they knew when the Bundys were there by themselves, surrounded, there was going to be the good possibility that they would have been taken out, killed. That's what the government does. They've done it time and time again. Uh, and people came together and say, no. We had a lot of, I say a lot, there were those a nurse mentality that goes in with a lot of that and that is not so much uh, right all the time. You know, you get the bigots. You got these little dogs and the screwy Louis there. But in the general sense, people have said enough is enough. We're, we're not going to take this just because you say so. But you know what was done right? Nobody. Now, they say Eric Parker shouldered arms uh, against government that's not true i seen he was there at those two ladies that they, they got arrested in, in henderson they were demanded that their their uh their cameras be given for the photos over to him to the police authority uh he was posing <clears throat> for those pictures a famous poser sniper on the bridge yeah everybody they went uh nobody bared arms knew that there was a good possibility that they were going to be killed that's what they're saying on bullhorns there you go yeah. So they were already supposed to be gone, too. And the story changed after the narrative. Sheriff Gillespie, he said that they were gone. He understood, yep, that uh, he's all over. Okay, but now. They well, but Vinny. They, they decided to bar the way. Vinny, yeah. Vinny, Vinny. Katie, Vinny. bar the door, baby. Okay. Now, yeah. we, we've been, okay, we've been you down. Or not, you asked me what. what okay, what well, hold on. on. Look, let's slow down. down a little bit. Okay. Wow. Well, uh, there's two of us here, but uh, anyway, now you, you've laid out the ground, you've explained your, yourself in a way that I've never gotten you to before. Okay, so you've led me to believe all this time you wanted to fight their game with their game, not with common sense and reality. <laughs> Maybe I ain't doing good enough. To well, okay, to what, all these years. No, <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's like, a really personal. I feel like, I feel like husband and wife, and I wake up one morning and you say, "I just don't know you anymore, baby." Okay, I never knew you, Benny. What this is how what? I understand? I'm talking for me, not anybody else. You bum it. And this is a down. right, but this I is love a, you, baby. a very confusing. I, I you. Um, when you're not physically involved with a story, okay. The story doesn't translate to me as well as something I physically have done myself. And I told you, there is no way I'm going out anywhere near a bunch of armed fucking crazy people. No, thank you. You, uh, you ever gone skinny dipping? <clears throat> you ever gone skinny dipping? Nah, not, not so much in the sense of, nah. Uh -uh. 
Really? Yeah. You're I, kidding me. I, no, I don't. What? I'm a oh, swimmer. Wow. Well, we swim I was going to say, big I, pool. That's, no. <laughs> I, that's a good, uh, the closest I could give to explaining what it's like would be skinny dipping, except for a whole lot more. Yeah. What are you, you talking got, about? Listen, you just take your clothes off and go on and get in there, right? You out of your fucking mind, it's 30 degrees outside. Where, why would I want to do an do ignorant thing like people that? People do that in ice water. I'm not stupid. I ain't ice, doing ice, that. But ice, baby. Ice, yeah. Get a really? You bumped your head again. You ever been hunting, boy? No. Hmm. What for? I don't know. I'm just trying to find something I can give you a good example of relating. Relating. Mm-hmm. Uh I know, and the things that you can use are too shocking for the show, so let's have get you, off this. Have you ever <laughs> jumped off the roof with a bed sheet? No, but I did go up with a parachute on with my dad and my brother as an observer on their flight. And Did you and jump I, out? No, I didn't want to. I just wanted to go up in the plane and, and hang out the door and look at everybody else doing it. I thought it was oh, stupid man. to jump out of a fucking plane with a parachute I'd on. I'd love to. Ignorant. Man. You know how much crap you got to know how to pack your own shoe and all these things. Are, no. I don't trust other people enough to trust that some stranger did their job. <laughs> Fuck you. Strangers on a plane. So, no. I was hoping I didn't have to go out that damn plane. I would have if I'd had to, but I didn't have to. Was my choice to do what I wanted to do. Well, I had to jump. Well, that's you. See, there you go. Now, I did other things that other people thought were just as insane. They were just different. But it's all a matter of perspective. That that's what I was getting at about you know the way it sounds talking to you about this uh, Bundy thing is as though. Fixing whatever the hell is wrong is going to be a matter of using the tools that fucked it up. But you managed to explain yourself, and I understand it differently now. That's all. Because it's uh, it's really hard to interpret this whole fucking thing without any hands-on experience. It's strange. See, this is this is where you've got to take it then at that to the starting point is over to the tortoise. Well, what I like to call it, it's the uh, tail of the tortoise and the uh, hair hiding hoof. The, uh, I messed it up. Mm-hmm. The truth. Mm-hmm. Anyways, yeah, the tor- tortoise and the hair. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's also, oh, yeah, the tortoise and the hair hoof and hide the truth. Uh, it's, uh, it's a big old lie. It's a fable, a fairy tale that the cow is out there uh, in battle. The ba- a cattle battle, the cattle rattle with the uh, tortoise and killing it, oh, okay. stomping yeah, on it, yeah, and all that. Yeah, it's a yeah. big old line. Yeah, and that's yeah. why they want the cows off, right? Yeah, yeah. because the cows is hurting things. That's not there. true. Killing right. the turtle. Yeah, right. It's a big, big, mm-hmm. big, big, big lot. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, there's more tortoises. The more cows, yeah. the more more turtles. Because the turtles live off the cow shit. Well, and plus there's us also other benefits. They the, by cattle uh, brazing, they they this other well, stuff that's just going to die and turn. You'll get all woody. There's a way to prove your road, there's like a way pruning bushes, but there's a way to prove that the cows are not violent to other animals in the first place. Video proof. I've seen it. Mm-hmm. Dogs come in and Hannah loves the cows around here, so it tells me. So yeah, and but there's video links where the dog goes into the herd of cows and the cows just gather around and smell. They, they they don't step on the dog. They know the dog's there. They're not that stupid of an animal. They're unaware of what they're surrounded by. But people think they're so, you know, they're so knowledgeable because they watch TV. <laughs> watch enough TV, Vince, and you'll be an expert on a fucking shitload. I, and I say shitload of topics from alien space invasion to serial killing, and there's a movie for everything in between. And I, I have come to the decision at this point in life, most of the crap that we've been fed is crap. Situations we're taken advantage of, presented through the media to us, 
it uh, fuck you fish. It they were presented to us in a light that we would accept them in a certain way. And some people like me, some sometimes you depends on your mood. Don't see what we're told to see. We see something different. You're always trying to say, see, see what I mean? See, that's what are you talking about? I don't uh, see. You can't see. It's my opinion. It's just you either you agree with it or you don't. It's not real well, complicated. Uh, no, that's that's a mispremise right there. No, it isn't. It's a I reality. I I don't. It doesn't mean matter one bit whether I agree or disagree. But you're going well, to. It doesn't matter what I believe. But that you're going no, to. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Doesn't but you're going to do it. I what? may or may not. It may matter. Can I, it can may I only do you. one of two things? Yeah, I've limited it to two. Mm-hmm. That's like either you are Democrat you're or welcome. Republican. You're welcome. I could make it more you're, complicated for you, but I choose not to. No, look, there's a friend. There's my friend out there. Uh, you can that's a mama and a papa. You can and will, and so will I, I, see the fucking world however the hell you want to. Doesn't matter how you see it. But the part does where it, the, the Yeah, of course it does. Sure. Why? How you to see paint it, your picture? No. Is how, that what you do? How you see it is what you ex- express. The shit you do is a result of how you see the world. So if you're well, like... that only affects who, you or somebody else? Depends on what you do to them, doesn't it? Oh, uh-huh. see. Well, some people think that if you consider, like, uh, you asked me, haven't you ever said you're going to kill somebody? He said, fuck no. I'd be concerned about doing it. So I mind my P's and Q's about throwing the kill word around. I don't think it's cheap. And other people will say it like it's funny. I kill you, you bastard! That is not me. I I don't find it amusing. But see, so whether that's me. I believe, whether I believe or don't believe something, mm-hmm. it has that it doesn't touch you in any kind of way, does it? Only if I, mean, I it allow it to change. It doesn't oh, yeah. change no. what, what no. the facts are. To me, what no. actually is no. is. Unless I mean, you can show me a fact that I've never seen, and show me where hey, this is where you thought you were right, but you're not. And this is what it really is. Like it doesn't matter. I don't. I don't have that obligation or duty to make anybody believe anything or not believe something, right? Obligation. Wow. Jeez. Yeah. Right. Do I? Whoa. Or do do I or do I have a a privilege to to, to lie? Do so, you have a privilege to lie. I think. I lie. I think you have the privilege to lie. I don't think you are obligated to do anything for anyone. You do what you fucking want. Therefore, in my opinion, no, lying is a privilege that you can either pick it up or not. It's your choice. Well, that's, there's, there's people, let, let's say, that mm. feel they have the privilege. That's my opinion of it. Uh-huh. And that's, uh, yeah. well, privilege. that's the bad. That's like the, the, the castle, right? How? The, camas- the castle ruling the, uh, the oh. you know, the, the countryside. Yeah, well, if you can make people depend on you for something then it's easy to tell them what to do. You know, that's why when you hire onto a job, you have a boss to tell you what to do so you can right. make some money. Well, right. uh, there's other ways to create an income <coughs> where where the interaction between me as a worker, whatever, and the person as an employer was more level because they needed me it, more than I needed them. And uh, I found a way to capitalize on that emotional thing, I think. Being good at what you do brings you respect. And if you push to get that respect, you repel it. So you got to, it's a fine kind of razor's edge. You got to be a different character with each person on a business level, I guess is the way to put it. And you get what you put out. That's my my personal theory and experiences. Yeah, you receive equal amounts of whatever you give. So if you're getting shit, you must be giving shit somewhere. Doesn't mean you're gonna know it. You know, you'd be doing. Uh, I don't know. I call it innocent fuck ups. You know, where your your behavior dictates something, and your words say something different. Where things don't match. <laughs> anyway. We 
Hello. Hey, we got him back. I was. I took advantage of that that cough and got up. Hey. Grabbed the the last. Uh, so are you counting the, the hours on your smoking? Yeah, huh? No, no. How, how are you doing it? Days. Well, see, I don't have any rules on this. Mm. I, like, uh, no, it just mm. it's done and just go with it. So, and there but you go. no, I, I would say I would say there's one one thing that because I quit before I. Uh, have pretty good practice on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, it was great. Uh, this, this I would say, and you know, when people say it, it's like you don't hear it, you don't care yet. Well, no, no, no. It just once, what even? Oh, just every once in a while, that uh, that cheat, the, the cheat puff. Don't do it. Cheat. No, I'm puff? not gonna do. It. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, because. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not a good thing because then then it becomes a whole cigarette. Yeah, so that's that would be my thing that uh, I would say in quitting smoking. Don't take the cheat cheat puff. Hmm. Don't do it. Don't do it. I have a I have a whole pack of unopened cigarettes and a big bag of unopened tobacco, mm-hmm. tubes, papers at the iron. Yeah, but you know what? Hmm. Because. Here, I'm going to tell this in a short, short version uh, story here. True story. I uh, escaped rehab for cigarettes to go smoke. <laughs> Long, funny. That That's the short, funny story of that. Oh, but yeah. really, yeah. Uh-huh. I said, I'm going to go get me a cigarette and smoke it. And I did. And I yeah. hit the highway. Yes. First car come by. uh Stop, friends of mine. Give me a cigarette. We ain't got none. Take me to the store then. <laughs> Listen, if I wanted to get a cigarette, I don't care how far I got to go get it. The point is, it's not an obstacle to to say I can't get one. So, the, right now I got this right here, this right, and not even in front of me. I actually I put it in a box. I figure up, I give it away or or put it in a zombie apocalypse. Uh, survival bag for trade item. No, it's uh, no. You don't do it. It don't matter whether you get it, you got it, or you got to go get it. If you're going to and you want to, then you will. So, you got to have strong will against mm-hmm. what you will or won't. I guess. Okay. Yeah. Well, not for not smoke. having any yeah, rules, yeah. you sure have a lot of rules. You're yeah. welcome. I cannot figure this one out. But okay, so not doing something is not a rule, right? Right. No, no, I'm not going to say I if I no, I'm not going to tell myself I can't open that and smoke it because then no, it's not what I said. I I said not doing. I'm not going to do it. It's a choice. It has no difference whether there's a rule against something or not. You sure? The the thing you're looking for is whether you will or you won't. Rules Whoa. do not impede. They don't? Have you ever noted any, any that do? It might slow mm-hmm. you down a little bit. Mm-hmm. I might have a rule if you come uh, crap on my floor, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of those idiot rules. Come on, right, Benny. Right. <laughs> Listen, there needs to be idiot rules, I'm afraid, because there's a lot of idiots. It's like... I ain't written it down, but you look like I'm going to have to need to tell you this here. You go crapping on my phone, buddy. I'm going to rip your nose in it. <laughs> you're, you're not only a bully, but you're a disgusting bully on top of me. Yeah, thank wow. you very much. Man, you kiss your mama with that mouth? Good Lord. Not What's anymore. wrong with you, son? Well, you ought to start. <laughs> I know. I that sorry, Vince. Never. No, no, no. That no, was bad. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. No. Wow. Dude, my mom is uh, okay. Yeah, I know. Oh. So is mine. And I mean, oh man, that was. Just wrong. I want to tell you, Mama jokes anyway. Mm. Okay. Mama good. so. Right. Yeah, I know. Uh oh, we lost him. Hello. There he is. <laughs> my mom is so. My mom is so dead that she won't talk to me no more. I got lost there in that. It's like uh, I, I, I welled up tears in Good. my eyes. Oh, you bad boy. I'm well, so mean. You know, it's just kind of funny how, you know, the people that are so uh, different <laughs> than me and you, we got something in common like that. 
got along with your mom. Or did you? I did. Yeah. Now, my father and me, we had our moments over the life. Yeah, I took but, care of my mom up until she died. Yeah. No, I, yeah. Mom. You know, yeah. I've got to bring this. To, that brings exactly something to bear. I was talking with Lonnie. Lonnie Clark is coming to Tomorrow. radio right yeah. here. And, uh, RLM. Hey, Lonnie Clark. That's right. The age of vision. And uh, I, she is a, what is I think she defined it as raging, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> raging liberal. Is that yeah, right? something I like forget. that. Yeah, I forget how she put it too, but right. Yeah, I love Lonnie. She and I have done uh, radio together several times, and um, I said something about Maxine Bernstein. I said I, she's great. I said she's a liberal, but I love her. She's great, and she's like you say, liberal like it's a bad thing. It's the same thing oh yeah, yeah. You no, know, I we were yeah. talking about that. Well, I would say Cirque leans more to the liberal side than I do, you know, politically and you know, socially. But I would say that the, I see the difference because of the uh, the country, the cultures, more than like any personal. Uh, like it's hard. How, hmm. There's just a definite culture here where I'm at. And where I'm from, it was so mixed. Everybody was from somewhere else. So there was no... no. Uh, the only common link was the language. And we <clears> fucked <throat> all that up and didn't know. <laughs> but I always say, Mary, you help me get a grip on that idea. Get a grip. Well, on the, the, the definition of the word <clears throat> actually means a lot. Depending on what you're saying at the moment, you're saying something. If the depends def- on if you're using it for empowerment or true uh, power but, over. But if the definition of the word was upgraded, you know, because people had a consensus, how the hell does that really change the definition of that word? It doesn't. They decided it, not me. Well, you know, not the people did. that wrote the language, but new people that came in. You don't do that. It doesn't work. You're always going to get, it's like getting into a gang. The The old people that were in the gang from the beginning are going to always know the new people. See? It, I, I'm going to give you two examples of what you're talking about. Okay. What, one is is where language naturally uh, evolves, adapts, changes, and becomes what it is. You mm-hmm. know, the, the difference between a deep south accent and, and a, 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 a near, what they call it, down east. In Maine, down east, I okay, think. you can't get the F from here. Yeah, all right. Um, you're in the South, Maine, so it's a fur piece. There's well, a just, now. Yeah. What we have there is like the the way we're just to talking and communicating. We have an intent with the word that we use to have a meaning that's conveyed and understood between the, the, each of us, right? Mm-hmm. Now, what happened with Bruce Doucette, that uh, Ryan English, the FBI. Uh, agent in charge and, and top witness uh, in the courtroom, sit there and jump up and pre-testify before Bruce could get up and try to defend himself, which the rules already set up against them in the jury instruction for how they're to rule anyways. Forget all about that. He want to get up and how oh, they say that there's these different private incorporated entities of that is the government. And he's just, uh, well, you know, it is, but it isn't. It, it's just the way we have it set up to do it, right? Basically, that's that's his explanation. So, uh, to use the words, the language, to uh, what? To, to take control, right? And seize. And then prevent and exemplify from the person in, in, to defend themselves. It's like changing changing the the conversation you want to argue with somebody right it, then you like move move the definition over like man what <laughs> you get there you get there and it's like oh here i am over here and you got to track go, go over there and then they change it again mm-hmm. and these people are ending up uh being locked up for trying to uh, well that's because they've already got you that's the, yeah that it's is. getting you that's the problem see yeah. So the, the whole point of this whole damn court crap for me is to avoid that shit. 
Don't yeah. don't be don't be in in a situation with the state where they want to take you to court. You're going to get fucked. Sometimes fucked. though, what happens? Oh, please. And you're just sitting there minding your own business out there, you know, uh, riding the prairie, uh, waiting for fall to gather the cattle. Might be singing a song or something. You know, like old cowboy used to do. And then all of a sudden, hey, that gun back shooting gully washy sums of somethings or nothers is there to get you. And that's what happened with the Bundys, right? And a lot of other people. Look at the Browns. People left. There, there's case after case. What about the old boy up there in Missouri? Tricked him. He got out of his car and shot, meant to be dead, Jeffrey Winehouse, and then he had to go to prison. Yeah, because he got shot. There's uh, case after case of where they come for you, whether you uh, mean for them to or not. Now you get some, where you getting uh, the people that want to be too cocky you're aggressive, and even though they've got the right to be, but, you know, the result is what happens. Uh, you have to get killed, right? Or set up, it happens. That's that's what the system reveals. Right. So you got to be careful when you're in it, in it, right? If whether you've you've intended to take the uh, take the fight to the the occupier, or whether the occupier come to take you, be as smart as you can. Because sometimes when it comes down to it, what do you got? At the very end, do you comply or die? And there's but question you basically, answer. well, hmm. yeah, well, it's a lot different in a city than it is in a rural setting, too. There's, yeah, there's you so can many. Go through life easy, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's so many layers to this cake, and so many people think they're trapped, and they're not. They're just not creative. They're convinced of, you know, the the. Rhetoric, the shortages, and there's not enough this, and we're going to run out of that. All these lunatic ideas that climate change. I mean, not that climate doesn't change, Vince. We always throw that at me. But that it's it's somehow, because the reasons that we're told are, they're not necessarily not true. They're just explained badly. They're there's enough truth in them to make them sound believable to anybody. It's just, if they told the complete truth, nobody would bother with it. So we we seem to have to have a story to, to be told so that we'll listen and follow or we don't. And they've just mastered, somehow they've mastered this. Uh, how they get you to pay attention. Whether you, like... This Greta girl, whether I agree with the freaking shit that's behind her or not, that's one thing. But how many people know that she's just another paid actress doing a performance? And whether she believes the cause or not, she's still a paid performer. So, uh, that just right would there. It, I mean, Would it make any difference whether she believed it or didn't believe it? Yeah, it or would. She's yeah. telling the truth in her own heart or being paid to lie. Yeah, I think would the vibration, matter? yes, it would. Would Vince and I am one of those. Mush would it make it true? That's what I mean. True. See, no, no, no. It would, it would, it, okay, yeah. Does it hurt you? Your 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 feelings? Or, it, it must because the vibration yeah. is uncomfortable. That's why I react yeah. to it. I'm reacting right. to something, and it sure as right. fuck ain't that I believe climate change. I'm seeing this kid getting fucking railroaded, and and encouraged to That's make. That's where they got you then. See, yeah, you know, I feel bad for the kid. They captured yeah. you. Yeah. Right? The whole the whole of, that she's even saying anything and what she's saying. And not that what it is she's saying, it's the fact she's saying it and then why? Exactly. Because things like this don't happen by accident. It's a plan. It's all part of something to control us. Whatever control us is, it's done. We, we so where is she from? Sweden. Sweden. Yeah. Does she talk funny? What do you Does mean talk, talk funny? funny? You're you bet she is so good. It's why don't you open a link and why don't you open no. a link and find out? No. The closest I came to hearing a word out of her mouth was some thing that uh I circle shared and I think it was some song thing or something. It was funny. No, I'll read about the kid, but no, I'm not gonna shut support up. I'm shut not up, gonna support you talking the to me right now. 
Nah, I'm not gonna no, no, well, no, no, I'm not. I, no, no, I'll not, dude. I'm not gonna do it. You can't. I, I, almost, me... I, I only heard Trump generally on <laughs> Trump. <laughs> POTUS yeah. Trump. That's funny. Good God. Dude. Wow. How, aren't you proud, Vince? Are you a proud no. American? Yeah, I am. You wear your Trump hat and you get out there no, and that's, wave your that's American a, flag that's and shit. An American. No. Is, what, what exactly? All right. Well, the end, end the show with this. Why don't you tell me what an American is? Because I ain't got a clue. I'm clueless. <clears throat> that means that you do with a joyful heart. <laughs> do what? American. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What you do do enjoy and if if that's what you're doing then it is a good thing. And that's American? Yeah. Yes. Well, I don't claim that. I find myself enjoying things I and, do. Unless you're sick and twisted and that gives you joy then. No, that don't. That's it. Uh, that's not American. Oh, well, I'm sick and twisted as the next guy. Not right, that sir. Kind of sick and twisted. <laughs> Not you, you, you would you secret? Do you secretly uh, uh, hold people in your basement? We talked about this before. Of course not. Yeah. Why? You don't have any people? like a, a well in in your basement, <laughs> like that's, that's joke, that's part, right? <laughs> Just give me my auto trainer. <laughs> are you happy? I mean, are you happily caged? Me, I'm your good. mind or physically, they got you on Grata. I mean, right? Well, you're there, of course, sucking at the kid. Sure. Uh-huh. I felt bad for the kid because, you know, sure. I you was feel a 16 bad for year the old. Kid. Sure. What? Hold up. It's, yeah. She's making money. What do you feel bad about? No, no, no. Okay. You ought to, you know, uh, there's more to life than making money. Okay. Yeah, I just think that adults. Here, right? Uh, Maybe it gives her joy if she that's what she seeks uh, in life and riches and yeah, 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 if yeah. if you are willing to give her that dollar, you know, all No, that, I'm of not. Cuz the then the claim is for sure. Yeah, well maybe so, but the claim you is You ever been to the circus? Garbage. Do oh, you like clowns? Lord. Do you like clowns or not? I want to ask you. What? Does it make you happy? What? Do I make you laugh? Yeah, you're like a fucking clown. You make me fucking right. laugh. Why do you? Have? Of course. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I give you joy, right? <laughs> I still, when you say that, I always think of the damn devil's reject scene. What's wrong? Don't you like clowns? <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, I love clowns, Mr. Bad Clown. Because <laughs> I got some clown business that supersedes uh, whatever you're doing. That's right. <laughs> Why? Because wow. I got joy, 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 joy. Stopping you in there. No, clown. you're just a happy little guy tonight, aren't that's you? That's the evil, wicked clown. We don't right. like evil, wicked so clowns. So you I give up like smoking. And, and, I like the happy clowns. And now you're a terrorist. And sad clowns. Hey, did you know that nobody no, could be a that. domestic terrorist? There's no way to define that. Domestic terrorist is an oxymoron, by the way. Well, yeah. Do, look it up. No, no, no. domesticated terrorists. No, no. Ah, that's not I've what I said. A good example of that. Okay, yeah, but, I know. It's my contrast. Okay. You're right. But still, right. The, the originals, this original crap they come up with, when you, well, when I take a serious look at it, I find it quite amusing. And it's just a matter of, like you said, about bending the rules to fit the crime so they can lock you up. But once they got you, it's, it's over. They'll say whatever they have to. They got you. And what that pr- that freaking billionaire guy didn't make it. And if he did, he bought his way out and had somebody else hanging his place. This whole thing is hard. What, what we're living with and accepting as normal. Donald, awful, awful, really, I'm really, telling really you, awful. I went to the pub last night, and the two kids I was talking to, 25, 26 years old, they're insulted that Trump. Who the fuck does Trump think he is going to buy Greenland? They're asking me. <laughs> they're still talking about that. Well, because I'm American, <laughs> they got a chance to ask an American. They're just falling for the same old. 
no, 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 no. It's just another Greta. No, 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 no. That's way deep. That's that's goes to slavery. No, that that's buying no, no, buying people like a commodity. They got to do that in secrecy. If people knew they were being traded, they wouldn't allow it. So it's got to be the done. The idiocy of it. The more. idiocy of it. Can he, would he re- really buy Iceland? No, it's the idea that he wanted to bring that up. It's like, it's rude. The, do you think this, he was serious? or he doesn't, was like he, being his, He's the president his of America, like pal. He, he doesn't he have no... Hey, no, he's huh. got no room to be a fucking comedian. He's representing the most powerful country on the planet with the biggest army, talking about buying something from you. It's fucking rude. This culture and is I'm not... I'm offended, quite frankly. Yeah, it hurts yeah. my feelings. Apparently, and, yeah, it oh. struck a chord with the people that are... The, uh, the feelings... The, yeah, the Danish feelings. status. Cirque was insulted. Everybody uh, that I've met that's Danish... That it has, doesn't matter. Come maybe on, not being to, uh, insulted, really? Yeah, it does. It matters to the person that's insulted, Danny. But that's not... Oh, this is, we've run out of time. Hmm. No, no, not again. <laughs> See you. Too. Are you going to be on the dark table with me on a the weekend? There's we no may. We, oh, okay. Oh, you got plans. Too far away, man. Oh, I don't care. What's too far What's away? There's just you know, there another be something that. Yeah, another something notch on a clock. Up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, what are you going to do? All right. Say goodbye. Hey, thanks everybody for hanging out. Goodbye. In the perfect world. Thanks everybody. On the. On the dark 10th table. of uh, December, oh, no. 2019. In a perfect world. Yeah, yeah in a perfect there world. You go. In, in a perfect no. world, conflicting the occupation. <laughs> Vinny, TG, and flash somebody. Thanks, everybody.